Bambini Show has proudly brought you by Number 8 Snacks Feel the Crunch Introduce it Indomie Beef Flavor by Nat Bambi Yay! You always know the excitement level when it comes to Bambini Show Yes, I am up in Afinia and today I am at Vic Grace Not just me, it is the whole Bambini crew We are here to make it lively, exciting, educative and entertaining and also we would like to say thank you to our part sponsors that is food tech we have food tech they have number eight if i look at my sweet lady over here let me see your back now you see <laughs> we have snappy number eight Cornelli, and what our view i've been having near here and she is and there will be a lot of activities there will be poetry recital choreography and of course spelling as the name goes if i spell and you get it correctly you get a product from our prize sponsors yay it is well made to the whole world so stay good and enjoy yourself as we go in there and have some chit chats it's a conversation it's a dialogue it's a discussion right here on your favorite channel go nowhere they are going to tell us about. Oh, and I'm here is going to represent Ghana by giving us the region, 16 regions. I believe you've forgotten the regions we have. And so, stay glued and go nowhere as they tell us their achievements and the number of regions and what have you. So stay glued. Oh, and I'm giving a high five. Red, yellow, green and black are my country's colors. Red stands for the blood of our forefathers. Yellow stands for the rich minerals. Green stands for the rich vegetation. And black stands for the hope of Africa. We are ready right here on set. And I'm not doing this alone. I'm here with lovelies. Oh, everybody say hi. Smile. Mm, I want to see your teeth. It's very nice, right? <laughs> I am Abna Hunia, your host, and I'm doing this with all of them. They are going to introduce themselves, telling us their class, just what they want to be in future. Are you guys ready? Okay, starting from ladies first, right? Tell us. Okay, so my name is Princess Wendy Tete, and I am in Basic 6, and what I want to be in future is a musician. My name is Rima Amankwadaku. I am in basic five, and I want to be a doctor in future. My name is Victor Mousy. I'm in JHS1, and I want to be a professional footballer in future. My name is Tracy Boache. I am 10 years old. I want to be a fashion designer when I grow up. My name is Melissa Uswa Mwako, and I'm in basic six. I want to be a beautician when I grow up. My name is Jojo Boabenham. I am in basic six. I want to be a professional footballer in future. Anyway, to set up a role in today's discussion, we are talking about what we can't discuss with our parents. Bring in your comments in the comment section. Follow us on all social media handles. Like our page and then share. But before we set the role in, we are going for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay good.
Number 8 snacks, feel the crunch. This advertisement is vetted and approved by the FDA. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? Has their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can play. You like no other. You like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie beef flavor. Bye now. This effort is FDA approved. Happy! Acknowledging our prize sponsors, we have Food Tech, who has number eight, Feel the Crunch. Snappy and also Snappy Flakes and what are we? They also have other flavors in the market, which is the banana flavors, the chocolate flavors. And just go on the market store, get yourself a number eight. Mention Bambini for a discount, you know, right? <laughs> okay, we are moving and zooming straight into our discussion. What we are discussing is what we can't discuss with our parents. First of all, who is a parent? A parent is someone who takes the responsibility to guide the child, care for the child, and provide the child's basic needs. A parent is someone who gives birth or adopts a child and serves as a guardian to the child. A parent is a mother or a father who has given birth to a child, or has adopted a child, and taken good care of the child. A parent can be a relative who takes care of a child, whether biological or unbiological? I'm very impressed. Snap for yourself. Well, 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 well. Today I'm here to be educated. You guys are going to educate me, right? Let's move on. What are the duties of a parent? As a parent, what must you do? As a parent, you must emotionally and um, financially support your child. Parent, you have to provide the basic needs of a child education and shelter for the child. As a parent, you need to help the child in education so that the child will be successful in future. As a parent, you must make the child feel free around you anytime. You have to make your world feel free around you anytime, but all your points are on point. Clap for yourselves. No, let's not. Uh, <laughs> that's the new era, right? Yes. Let's move on. What are some of the things we can discuss with our parents? We should discuss everything with our parents, yeah, because they've been our age before, so they know all the solutions to our problems. Yes. We can say everything with our parents, like things that happened in the school, how your day was, and how you had fun in the school. Discuss everything with our parents. But somebody is saying there are some things we can't discuss with our parents. Who side with that side? And what are the things we can discuss with them? Discuss motivational things with our parents. Sam. Is it motivational? We really don't get it. Can you break it down for us? Is it emotional or motivational? Okay. In some ways, emotion. Some emotional stuff should be kept private. Who else? You have to say everything because some things are there you don't know, but your parents know and they can solve it for you. That's the so there is nothing to be hidden from our parents, right? Mm -hmm. Majority carries the votes, yeah. Hey, who thinks we have to discuss everything with our parents? If you're on that side, raise up your hand and let me see. Hey, one, two, three, four, five. Only one person said there are some things we can't discuss with our parents. But majority has already carried the vote. Let's snap ourselves. Yay! Let's move on straight to the relationship we have to build with our parents. What relationship must a parent and a child build? A parent and a child should build a cordial and a very positive relationship. A parent and a child should build a relationship in which the child is free to tell 
the parent about his or her worries and not rather his friend or her friend. A child is supposed to tell the parent everything, discuss with the parent everything, because it's important for the development of the child. Parents watching us, please, we are very particular about this emotion, love, care thing, right? We want to be pampered now to come home and then our jollof is ready, food is ready and we are going to school and then our lunch bag is packed, right? Yes, so we want to feel loud. Let's move on. What are some of the things that should be limited when it comes to the relationship with our parents? Okay, when your parents are talking to someone, you have to wait for them to finish. You don't just poke your nose inside, you have to wait. There is more time for you to talk with your parents. But when visitors are there, there isn't a need for you to be talking with your parents like, Mommy, 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 see, I have this thing to show you. It's somehow harsh. We also need to try to obey our parents' privacy because they really need it sometimes. Apply this limitation. Do you think we have to be watching TV with our mother? Should we watch TV with them? Mm. Why? What's your reason? Because there are some TV shows when you're watching with your mom, your mom can tell you, close your eyes, like leave the room. And you feel like this is the part I like watching. But your mom will be telling you, leave the room, leave the room. Why are you doing this to us? I think you should be watching TV shows with your mother. Maybe if there's something bad in it that you are watching and it's not good for you, your mother is going to make you you close your eyes and avoid watching it. I think we should watch TV shows with our parents because it's so fun and brings a, a lot of excitement with us. I think we are supposed to watch TV shows with our mothers or fathers because it helps us um, open to them. It helps us open to them and it also b builds a relationship between parents and a child. This is fantastic. Somebody said... Mommy will say, this show, don't watch it. <laughs> go and do your homework, right? Or go to the kitchen, go and watch the utensils. It's time for you to sleep. Go and have a nap. By first nap, meanwhile, you are watching TV. So that's why you don't want to be watching TV with your parents. I see. <laughs> I see, I saw. <laughs> Let's move on to our next discussion. Do you think there should be a point in life that you have to be afraid of your mother? And why should you be afraid of your father or your father? Your parents in general. Why should you be afraid of them? What causes fear in parents? Because your parents are too strict. Or when they maltreat you, it makes you feel like, I can see mommy. Mommy is coming to shout at me. She's coming to maltreat me. She's coming to say words that will make me feel sad. When parents use abusive words against you, that makes you be afraid of them. So when you see your mother coming, you know she's coming to use a word you don't like against you. Please be watchful of the language you use for us. We are very emotional. I, we don't like it when they disgrace us in public. You feel so embarrassed. So sometimes you don't even want to um, go out because you know that if you go out, your mother can come and just come and disgrace you. This is so sad. In fact, I'm very emotional right now. Oh. I didn't even bring my tissue and set out. I've been crying, you see. We have to mind our languages. And then we can't also have emotions, right? We don't want to be shouted at in public. But you to do the right thing. If you do the right thing, you will not be shouted at. Eh? <laughs> you know you are supposed to be watching the utensils. Go and watch them. Don't wait till mommy will come. Have you done your homework? Have you done this? No, it's 9 p.m. You know you have to be sleeping. So we too, we have to watch what we do. And then you have to make a to-do list so that your mother will not come and shout out to you anyhow. Eh? You, you let them get BP and all the time. And then we are going for a quick commercial break. When we are back, we will continue with the discussion. Stay glued.
Number 8 snacks. Feel the crunch. This advertisement is vetted and approved by the FDA. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As well as their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the me, in the me, it's you like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie beef flavor. Bye now. This effort is FDA approved. Happy! Welcome back from that quick commercial break. This is the part that is very important and then also very interesting. Guess what we are going to discuss? A strict ain't a free parent. Who do you prefer? Do you wish your parents are very strict or you wish your parents are your friends? I'm going to find out for my friends. Are you ready? Yes. First of all, who is a strict parent? Mm-hmm. A parent whose rules are strict or unbearable to a child yes definitely the opposite of sadness is what is what yeah, so if your parent is not strict per the definition we have given then your parent is what it's friendly who is a friendly parent even though we know tell me who can tell me parent who loves the child and cares for the child a parent who is kind loving and always open for the child a parent who gives attention to the, t- the child when he or she needs. Attention is very, very important. Don't only give attention to your boots. You have to give attention to your work as well. Not only your work. Remember, your child is also important. And he or she is the reason why you are working, right? Yes. So if I'm on point, just make some snap. We are going to wrap up. Mm? But we are just going to make some two or three submissions. And then we say bye-bye. And then we cut off. So, without submissions, you are going to advise your parents what you think they have to continue doing and what you think they have to stop doing. Then you mention your name. Okay, where should I start from? Ladies first, obviously. But you started the first time. In fact, God created Adam before you, so the men will start. I think parents should give us attention and they should stop fighting all the time. I think parents should be loving, caring, and obedient to us. Because when you show obedience to your child, the child will also be obedient outside and inside. They should make time for their kids. You have a lot of attention when with their kids, maybe in the hall or the kitchen. Or Parents should have time for their children. They should show them love, attention. My advice to parents is that they should be a good role model to their children so that they follow up and be better people in the future. It's amazing. Let's snap for ourselves and let's be on our feet. This is where we end our discussion on what we can't discuss with our parents. In fact, do you know that even though you are an elderly person, you still have to be taking advice? And even from your younger ones and parents, teachers, everybody watching us out there, I believe we all have learned something today. Our kids are also emotional, they also have feelings. So please, let's mind how we treat them. This is Bambini. And just like we acknowledge our proud sponsors, they cannot say goodbye to us without giving them anything. I promise someone I'll be giving her something. But then that will be later. But you see the pictures, okay? All right, since this is for all of you, stretch your hand on it. What will you tell them? Thank you. God bless you. Hey, it's very nice, Papa. Let me see you. We have the seafood rings, banana fingers, um, corn cones, cheese rings, chocolate. Hey, you're going to enjoy yourselves. So. In fact, what are you telling them again? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you subscribe to all our YouTube channel at Bambini TV. Follow us on all social media handles. Like, share. Yes, you have to subscribe. Yeah, so let's say bye-bye to our viewers. Bye.
To be in future, a doctor, a doctor. So, when I come to the hospital, you give me injection. Eh? Wow, okay. So, this is spelling win. I'll spell a word, then you pronounce. Okay, so P A T I E N C E. Patient, wow, this guy is very, very brilliant. So, I give him one of our products. So, Deladam, this is for you. Thank you. Say hi to Bambini fans. Hi. Hello, what's your name? My name is Keita Sapon. All right. What do you want to be in future? A surgeon. A surgeon. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Well, since you want to be a surgeon, I'll give you a word. Then you spell for me. So spell me simultaneously. Simultaneously. S-I-M-U-L-T-A-N-O-U. S L Y. Please come again. S I M U L T A N E O U S L Y. Wow, that's so brilliant. So this is from our passport. Say hi to Bambini fans. Hi, Bambini fans.
Believing in yourself is one of the hallmarks of Bambini. And we are here in the office of Big Great International. Yes. <laughs> Please introduce yourself, sir. Okay, so my name is Elizabeth Usubache, Mrs. Okay. I am the administrator of Big Great International Montessori. Okay. Yes. And um, this is the best school <laughs> your world can be in. This is the best school. Tell us the location of the school, please. Okay, so um, we are located at Kwabenya, mm -hmm. okay, just 200 meters off the Puma filling station, just on the Pokwase um, stretch. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Pokwase ACP stretch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just there, bring your work there. What are some of the things that makes you unique from other schools? Okay, so um, we concentrate on the Montessori lessons. So um, if we pay attention to each of uh, our classrooms, we have the Montessori setups, okay? We have a digital TV, okay? And then also we do study ahead, okay? So any student in class one will be studying things in class two and so forth. So by the time they get to GSS2, they're all done with the syllabus and then ready for BC. Hey. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you too. Thank you too. It's a pleasure. Your last word to parent teachers and everybody watching us right now. Okay, my last word to parents. Um, if you want the best education for your world, the Grace is the best school. Thank you so much. And You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, I am with the next class of the Vic Grace Montessori International, and we are going to make education very very fun so stay glued and go nowhere aunties let's start with some rhymes ready go cut a tree everybody cut a tree cut a gun shoot a gun who has a drum hey i say play a drum hey everybody play a drum Abongo soldier, Abongo soldier, are your guns ready? Are your guns ready? Let's shoot, Auntie. Oh.